Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. The new vampire drama. Vampires and Daywalkers. Who will control OFW? Who will control Oceanfront Walk? Vampires or Daywalkers? The vampires have been in Venice Beach since 1905 after leaving Hollywood. Abbott Kinney, a very good friend of wealthy vampires, never shared info about any of us being here at all. And then 40 years later, the offspring of the locals and vampires, the Daywalkers. And now, Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. The battle to end all vampire wars. Who will control Oceanfront Walk? Daywalkers or vampires? Don't cross Windward Avenue. You might not come back alive. Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. Your new vampire drama. You're listening to KVEN, the sound of Venice Beach, California, broadcasting high above Ocean Front Walk, where people come from all around the world to enjoy the views of our beautiful blue Pacific Ocean and our eclectic Venice Beach Boardwalk. The call has been going out Wednesday night, 7 p.m., Venice Pier. Be there. No excuses. The question is, who will win? Vampires or daywalkers? This is KVEN, the sound of Venice Beach, California. See you on Venice Pier, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. I think I've lived in Venice for about, well, since the late 70s. That's when you could buy a house in the canals for $65,000. Now, everyone along Oceanfront Walk and the LAPD, they're very happy with the vampires. But now, the day walkers, Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. And Muscle Eddie at the Venice Pier. Vampire Wars of Venice Beach. And the number one bodybuilder, Muscle Eddie. Venice Beach bodybuilder. Muscle Eddie, your favorite muscular bodybuilder. Muscle Eddie's motto is, shut up and train. Muscular Eddie, muscular body, muscular back, muscular legs, and muscular arms. Your most favorite bodybuilder, Muscular Eddie. Very, very, very muscular, Muscular Eddie. This has been a Camel City 